Hello, welcome to part 3 of Golang series. Today in this session, we understand the source code hierarchy of Go language. Following that, we understand how to write a simple program in Go language. As we know, every programming language has certain code hierarchy. For example, following the code hierarchy of Java programming language. At top level, we have packages. Under packages, we have classes. Under classes, we have methods and the class level variables. Inside methods, we write local variables and the actual programming logic. Similarly, even Go follows certain code hierarchy. Knowing this code hierarchy really matters a lot while writing a Go program. In Go language, at top level, we have packages. As I said in my first video, Go is a functional programming language. Being a functional programming language, we don't have a concept called class right here. Everything we need to write inside functions. Under packages, we have functions. Along with functions, we have package level variables and global variables. In each and every function, we also have local variables and the actual programming logic. So this is the code hierarchy of Golang. Now to understand more about this code hierarchy in practical, let's write an example program. Let's open VS Code Editor. I have explained how to set up Golang compiler with VS Code Editor in my previous session. I hope you watched that video. Now, if you have a look at this picture, at top level we have packages. Here, we categorize the packages into two types. They are main package and user defined package. Remember, every Go application must define a main package with the main function inside it. Along with main package, user can define his own packages. Here, the main package with the main function acts as an entry point to the program execution. So now, let me define a main package. In order to define a new package, we need to use the keyword package with the package name. As we know, under main package, we need to define the main function. So let me define a main function. In order to define a new function, we need to use the keyword func with the function name. Now, I want to print a message onto the console. We have several predefined packages available in Golang to do that. Among those, FMT is the one. In FMT package, we have the function println which is used to print a message onto the screen. Pass the message in double quotes to the println function. Now, in order to use the FMT package in our program, first we need to import the package. In order to import the package, we need to use the keyword import and the package name. That's it. Now, press Ctrl S to save the program and enter the command go run and program name. See, we got hello world right here. With this video, hope you understood the source code hierarchy of Golang and how to write a simple program in Go language. That's it in this video. Thanks for listening.